Hey everyone, welcome back to GameSpot's E3 stage. I'm your host, Mike Mahardy, here with GameSpot's Miguel Concepcion. Hi. And we are pleased to be joined by Katsunori Yamauchi, the founder of Polyphony Digital and creator of Gran Turismo. It's great to have you. And Taka, you'll be interpreting and kind of hanging out with us as well. Yep. Yeah, great. So, uh, yeah, we got to see more of uh, GT Gran Turismo Sport at Sony's uh, press conference the other day, and uh, that's, you've been since showing it off and everything. How's uh, What's it like to be kind of showing it more, you know, as we lead up to the uh, release? リースまでにこうやってあのどんどんあの発表が広がってきましたけどあのどんな感じですか今えっとそうですねあの今回はねあのなんていうのかなこうプロダクトの制作の最後のまあオプティマイゼーションだったりあるいはリファインメントのステージ
そういった対戦プレイのオンラインプレイにあの特化した体験だったんですが、はいはい、あのグランツーリスモスポーツは全体にわたってそういった、まあ、プレイヤーをよりあのコンペティションに誘導するような、うん、オンラインに誘導するようなものなんですがそれともあのもっとあのオフラインのポーションのゲームもあの充実したものがあるんでしょうか。なるほどそうでですねあのクローズドベータテストで僕らが行ったのはあのまさにクローズドベータテストが必要なパートだったんですね、つまり僕らがこれまで経験したことのない、本当にテストが必要なところで、だからあれはクローズドベータテストであって、クローズドベータデモではなかったんですけれども、あのまあ、これだけグランツリスコンスポーツの,あのフィーチャーがある中で、あのスポーツモードというのは、これくらいなんですよね、このごく一部なんですね。でまずそこまで話しましょうか。Okay. So, uh, the closed beta test. Um, is actually, you know, it really is just a test.、Um, it's, a, it's something that,、um, that really tested out the parts that we, need, we didn't have experience with, that we really need the additional data to,、uh, to finalize.、Uh, and so it really is something that's,、uh, that can only be called a closed beta test. It's not, it's not a demo per se、um, in that respect.、Um, and what you Experienced in the,、uh, the, the closed beta test is really one sliver of all the things that's going to be offered within you know, Gran Turismo Sport. So, the, eh, to, もちろん同じオンラインでも他にはオープンロビーとかもっとこうフレンドリーに友達と楽しめるような、まあ、モードもあるしあと、まあ、オフラインで楽しめるキャンペーンモードは全部で145のイベントが入っていますしだから何でしょうねあのオンラインプレイに全てを誘導したいというわけではなくてあのむしろこれまで通りグランツリスモのメインのパートというのはオフラインのところにあってでもあのオンラインのソリューションもたくさん用意してあるよっていうのがグランツリスモスポーツですね yeah. So, you know, the online portion actually、uh, you know, also has an open lobby which wasn't available in the beta test、um, sure. you know, So where you, know, you would be able to、uh, just have you know, fun and friendly races、uh, with your friends、right. Uh, things like that. And then the campaign mode actually contains、um, you know, 145 events.、Uh, so we're not trying to really、uh, direct everyone to online.、Um, it has a, a, a pretty significant online portion,、uh, like the you know, previous titles in the past,、um, you know, where that's actually the main part.、Uh, and then you know, we, it's just that we have a lot more online stuff to offer as well now. Sure. Yeah, a big part of beta is, from my understanding, right, is getting like, feedback and kind of stress testing the game before it comes out. Is there anything you learned during the beta that you have since implemented that, that will be there at final release? あのそういったベータというのはやっぱりフィードバックをもらうためのまあストレステストだったりそういったものを行うわけですよね。はい、あのそのベータからあの得た情報でまあもうすでにあのあの導入した変化だったりなんか変更点とかいうのはありありますか？えっとね結構たくさんありますね。ベータをしたことによって<笑>特にグランツリスもねこれまでのシリーズを遊んでくれていたたくさんのユーザーからものすごく建設的なあのフィードバックをもらってだから。あの今回僕らがクローズドベータで確認したかったところというのは主にサーバークライアント型の対戦の部分の、まあ、サーバーの、えー、負荷の部分それと、えー、スポーツマンシップレーティングだとかあのこうトラック上でコリジョンが起きた時のジャッジメントシステムだったんだけれどもあのそこの部分に関してのフィードバックだけではなくてそれ以外の、えー、パート、まあ、例えばサウンドもそうだしあるいはゲームの UI もそうだしあのカメラポジションもそうだし、まあ、そういったことのフィードバックもすごく僕らにとっては役に立ちましたね。うんうん Um, so, yeah, so the, from the beta,、um, you know, we had a lot of different、uh, types of feedback.、Um, you know, I think、uh, you know, we had, because we had so many of the,、uh, the longtime users of Grand Turismo, the longtime fans of Grand Turismo participating in the beta, we really got a lot of constructive, fe- constructive feedback from them. Um, so, you know, our objective was originally was、uh, just to get you know, really the,、uh, uh, you know, to test out the server cli- client matching、uh, system and also、uh, really to you know, test out the server loads.、Uh, but you know, in addition, we needed to、uh, really sort of figure out the,、uh, the balance of the, the, the sportsmanship ratings for the game、um, and also the, uh, the, uh, the uh, what was it? The, 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 yeah, the, I guess the. 
you know, the the collision judgment system for okay. the game as yeah. well. You know, that's something that you know that required uh, uh, you know feedback and adjustment, for, uh, and that's what we did. But we also got a lot of uh, constructive feedback from the users regarding the other parts of the game, uh, such as things such as sound and you know things such as the UI. Um, you know how, how the how the cameras are positioned, uh, so it was a it was a very useful learning experience uh, you know, for us as well. Looking back on the series um, and the way that uh, the game the, ve the individual games demanded to unlock the various cars, um, I recall spending needing need to spend at least five hours just to unlock like, twenty different kinds of skylines, which seemed a little. Uh, time consuming. Can you describe how um, uh, the unlock system in this game works? Um, if it's like how many hours do you think it might take to get like a substantial garage of cars? あの、ま、タイトルではあの、結構アンロックにあの、時間がかかるので、例えばあの、もう全20台のスカイラインをアンロックするにはもう5時間以上ずっとあの、プレイしないとなかなかアンロックできなかったり、あの、やっぱり結
is one, one of the few games that's been really properly designed throughout to, uh, to you know to properly support VR. But it's still um, it's still not the best. Um, it's, we're still not um, at the best point, point we can be at. Sure. Uh, and then I'm curious, you know, as say I'm not traditionally into racing games, and then I look at what racing games there are. You know, Forza Motorsport 7 is on the horizon, GT Sports on the horizon. You know, then of course there's more arcadey things like uh, Need for Speed Payback or um, you know The Crew 2 from Ubisoft. But what is it if I was just getting into racing games that GT Sport offers me that the other games don't? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
そうすることによってオプティマイゼーションとリファインメントの,の残りの時間を作れたのでそうするとクオリティのカーブってこうなるんですね最後。Yeah. Yeah, and so by doing that,、uh, we were able to, you know, get,、uh, to make more time for the optimization and refinement. And really, you know, the last end of that,、uh, that quality curve really shoots up you know, at the very end. And that's the part that you know, I, I really wanted to secure for, for our new title you know, for this one when it came out. And that was presumably why the game was delayed, right? To make time for that optimization. So it optimized or defined through the many game was delayed. Yeah, exactly. Well, in general, video game の制作って制作って終わりが本当にないですね。いくらやってもまだいろんな細かいところが気になってきて、あのもっとよくできるってところは出てくるものなので。Yeah, because you know, a game, video game development really has no end to it if,、uh, you know, right. if you really think about it because you can always make something better. You can、sure. always you know, work on more details.、Right. I am curious. You know, a lot of games nowadays, you know, they release and then developers kind of you know, fix things in the aftermath.、Uh, do you think that's a bad practice in general? Do you think more developers should be kind of doing what you did with GT Sport and making sure the game is polished as possible before releasing it, despite the fact that it. You know, delays are very difficult from a developer standpoint. They cost a lot of money, resources, time. But in general, do you think it would be better off for the industry if more people waited like you did? あのそしたらゲーム業界の中で、まあ、いやあそうやってあのゲームをリリースするときというのは、はい、結構あの最近はあのもうゲームがリリースされた後にあのに、まあ、フィックスを出したりあの、はい、あの直したり調整したりすることが結構多いですよね、はい、それ山内さんはやはりあ,のあまり良くない傾向だと思いますか、まあ、やっぱりグランツリーズもスポーツみたいにちゃんとあのもうリリースまでにもう磨き上げてあの、うん最高の状態で出す方がいい,あの、えっとね、い,いと思いますけど、まあ、あの結,構結構やっぱりデベロッパーとしては開発の、うんまあ、時間もかかってリソースもかかって、うん、あのけあのそういった面ではあの伸びた伸びた分あのあの難しくなる部分も増えると思うんですけど、えーっとね、あの以前に比べるとビデオゲームの規模が本当に大きくなっているしものすごく複雑になっているのでなんていうのかな以前のように例えばじゃあ1枚のディスクに。まあ、全てを込めてで一切アップデートしなくてもそれをワークするようにするっていうことの難易度はもうね極端に上がっていますね多分ほとんど不可能なんじゃないかっていう気もするんですけれども。Yeah, so you know, compared to you know, compared to the past, you know, the the games have become so much bigger in scale and so much more complex.、Um, and I don't, you know, nowadays I don't think it's possible anymore to do what we used to do before, where you have one disc where you know everything.、Um, there is no up- updates afterwards. Sure. You know, that everything on that disc has to work properly.、Um, you know, on your first try.、Um, But it, I, you know, nowadays, because of the complexity and scale, it's, it's, be, it's almost become impossible to do that. So, the day one update is the word that I was talking a b o u GT5 in the book. And what's called the、uh, day one updates nowadays is, I, th- I think, something that we actually invented back in、uh, GT5. Right, right. So, the day one update is the day one update. Yeah, and since then,、uh, a lot of different titles have、uh, you know, gone through and,、uh, and released day one updates you know, to their titles. So, the, I don't know, 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 I don't know. But you know, if it was possible,、um, I, I think that、uh, it would be better to be able to make the game without a day one update. そう、それはもう、いずれ言えば、全くそう、そうだと思いますね。いや、いや、ベストケースシナリオ、いや、だ、だ、ウッビエッ、いや、ノーアップデート、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、Uh, Gran Turismo Sport、uh, is not going to be like、uh, GT5 or GT6, where、um, you know, half a year after the game actually launches, the game is you know, completed. Sure.、Uh, I don't think that would be the case for、uh, you know, GT Sport. It would be a、uh, you know, complete title when it releases. Great.、Well, I think that's all the、uh, questions I had. But yeah,、uh, thank you,、uh, Kazunori Yamauchi. Thank you so much for joining us.
Taka, thank you so much for translating. Yeah. And we, uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. But yeah, we, uh, if you're watching from home, we will be continuing uh, with Final Fantasy XIV, the expansion Stormblood, right after this. But uh, again, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoy the rest of the show, and we'll see you around.